Hello everyone and welcome! I'm Chockney and this is Eats Mini Cakes and today we are going to look at one of the six Imperial District daily quests. You can see in the background I am trying my hand at a little decorating. I am not sure what I'm trying to achieve but I think it looks fun at the moment. Entering the Imperial City is much easier to do now than when the game first came out. You used to have to travel across a Cividal campaign to an Imperial City sewer entrance. They were some interesting times indeed. Now all you need to do is access through the start menu. Go to campaigns, Imperial City, and then there are two options to choose from. Imperial City CP, which just stands for Champion Points. Any player can join this campaign focused on Imperial City. There are no leaderboards associated with this campaign, including Empressship. And then it goes on to show you the server population for the Aldmiri Dominion, Evanheart Pact, and Daggerfall Covenant. Your estimated wait time actually is underneath the alliance that you have chosen. So I'm with the Evanheart Pact and it says I have an estimated wait of one minute. There's also the No CP Imperial City. Any player can join this campaign focused on Imperial City. There are no leaderboards associated with this campaign including Emperorship. Champion abilities are disabled. Item sets with process proc effects will not fire. So if you've got a five item piece that say poison somebody, I believe that means that wouldn't work in this area either. Again, server population shows with the three bars of each of the alliances. During the mid-year mayhem, these bars get very full very quickly in the Cyrodiil campaign as well. As you can see, they're all relatively, well, they are empty, so my estimated wait time of one minute should actually be okay to do. I think I'll put myself in for CP though, just for a little bit of fun if I come across anybody. I'm terrible so you'll take all my Talvar stones anyway. So nice and quick, this little pop-up window comes saying that your campaign is ready and that you may now enter the Imperial City campaign with an expiration countdown timer you have roughly 60 seconds to accept. So this is the entrance to the Ebonheart Pact Imperial Sewers. I get disorientated if I go on my Aldmiri Dominion or my Daggerfall Covenant character. I'm just so used to Ebonheart Pact. So this is what the map looks like briefly. So this is the actual sewers part. We're going to head up to the Imperial City Districts. And our first quest is going to be Dousing the Fires of Industry, set by Quintia Rullis, and she will be in the Elven Garden District of Imperial City. I'm not wearing shoes with my toes covered. Oh, that's gross. Anyway, here's the Elven Gardens district. You can see there's a blue glow around me and it's like a protective effect. So other players will be able to see you, but Whilst you're chatting to the quest giver, nobody should be able to attack you just in this little area. But once you pop outside and you go down there, then it's free for all for everybody. Look who's back. The Legion's got more ballistae ready to move up when they wear the old ones out. You ready to stick another thumb in Molog Ball's eye? You want me to burn Balliste and ruin the forge again? See? I knew you'd be up for it. I'll mark where the new Balliste are being kept. Be careful out there. They probably caught on to our game by now. Or not. I uh, guess we'll find out, eh? 
I'll meet you when it's done. Well, what are you still doing up here? Those ballisti aren't going to burn themselves. Are you a soldier? Was. Served with the Engineering Auxiliary in the 4th Legion. It was fun for a while. Gotta operate the trebuchets, blow things up and such. Then there was all the drilling and waking up early. <laughs> Wasn't for me. So you deserted? Well, that's an ugly word for it, but... Yeah, worked out though, right? If I had stuck around, I might have wound up all glowy-eyed and evil. The moral is, don't ever let anyone tell you that quitting won't get you anywhere. Why haven't you fled the city? And miss out on all this? I'm kidding, of course. This place is the worst. But I can't just leave. The Imperial City is my home. No way am I going out into the provinces to milk goats and shave chickens or whatever it is you do out there. Alright, we'll say goodbye to her. I feel like I recognize the voice, so I may have to look up who the voice actress is. It did sound familiar. So, this is the wonderful Elven Gardens district. It's quite loud, isn't it, with all the fire and stuff going on. So I've decided to come on Eat Some Any Cake with my heavy gear, which is not that great. They've done actually a cool feature where your heavy armor is more detectable as you sneak. Um, sneaking's great because this is a player versus player area, so you will come across potentially alliance um, from Dagfor Covenant or the Aldmeri Dominion, and as it's a free for all, they can attack you. Oh, these are just random NPCs, thank goodness. Got a little bit worried then. Um, I also got distracted by Soul the Ever Wakeful. These are the patrolling Imperial City District bosses, and there's about two in each area, but they kind of rotate. So, Soul the Ever Wakeful is one of them in the Elven Garden District, and I'm pretty sure there's a Clamfer one whose name I've forgotten. Um, so it's one or the other. But yes, sometimes I do this one on Saket, my Night Blade Khajiit character, because she has the ability to cloak, which means she doesn't get detected as much. I find using invisibility pots useful as well. Uh, they're quite handy, but I don't think I've got any on Eat So Many Cakes, because that's how well prepared I am. However, I do like to do these quests early in the morning, so I'm hoping nobody spots me that is not of the other two alliances. Ah, sugar. So, the currency around these parts is Telfar Stones. In the bottom left corner you can see that I have a times one effective for collecting of the Telfar and I've got 55 at the moment when you defeat the NPCs or other opposing Alliance members you will get a certain amount of Telfar and this um, bar for how much you get will increase so I think once you get 100 Telfar, you get a times 2 bonus, there's a times 3 bonus, and then I think at 10,000 you get times 4 bonus for everything you pick up. I can't remember what the mark is for times 3. So yes, during the Midyear Mayhem, it's a lot of fun. I am not a PvP player, player versus player. I am. PVE, but I do like to get these quests prepared in advance with my guild for World Boss Wednesdays. So we go running around doing these Imperial City quests on one, potentially two characters, depending on how much time we've got. And then that way, when it comes to handing in the event tickets, all we have to do is log on to those characters and hand them in. We don't have that stress of having to try and do a quest every day to try and get the event tickets and I think it's three event tickets this year that they are going to do for this mid-year mayhem this month 
So, I've burned the four different ballistas, and now I need to find a Balatar. Oh, might as well just fight them anyway. Like I said, if I had my Saket capture, I'd be able to sneak past them all. Or if I'd better prepared with a potion of invisibility. I was going to say I didn't want to use my fancy pots. Do a little bit of shopping. Ah, oh, I'm no good at my aim today. There we go. There's a note over there. Ode to a torch bug. It was a chill, moonless, turdous night when on my window did alight a humble torch bug all aglow who, passing by, thought to say hello. How do you fare? I did ask as in his light my face did bask. Well and better still, said he, though I had to leave my humble tree. I thought that was sad, and so I said, where will you go now, rest your sleepy head? Imagined I that it was shelter he did seek, but as a bug he was asking meek. I leave tonight for southern shores, where I will winter in due course. Then before I could stammer a reply, he was aloft flying away into the sky. So I pondered to myself alone, here I thought he lost his home, and upon my abode he looked with envy, but in the end the jealous one was me. I maybe didn't read that right? I don't understand how he was jealous. Or was he just jealous because he could move homes? He sounded pretty sad for him at first because he said he thought he'd lost his home. There we go, my bonus multiplier has increased by two now. Sometimes I can make it and sneak here. Can I do it though without being detected? Oh my gosh, everything's coming. Oh, okay, I don't like this. Who are you? Where did you come from? Oh my goodness. No, oh, I forgot to block. That's because, you know, I'm apparently standing on top of the forge as well. How is this not hot? How is this not burning my feet? I'm already, mind you, I'm already covered in dirt on the sewers, aren't I? Okay, so, now we need to go back to Quintia Rulus in the Alliance base. However, I do not like running back through the sewers because that's how you get back. If you look on your map, there's a sewer right next to me. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and I'm going to travel to the Cyrodiil campaign and I'm just going to enter straight into Greyhost. There's no need to worry about which one to go to because then I'm going to port back out anyway. During the actual mid -year mayhem, it could be quicker to go through the sewers but I'm not fussed about that because now I'm just going to go straight back in to the base. So pop back into the Imperial City and again it doesn't matter which one you choose to go back because I've made it back in. This place is homey if, you know, 
You're a half-starved skeever. You finished causing a ruckus up in the districts? Legion Zero won't be making any new siege engines for a while. I knew you could do it. Oh, I wish I could see the look on their smug, glowy-eyed faces. Priceless. I'm gonna go gather some supplies. Should be headed back out there in a day or so. If you're looking to cause a little more havoc, meet me there. And that's it. That's the dousing the fires of industry quest done. Wow, she looks a little bit too wide-eyed and smiley there. Didn't think I'd miss the smell of ash and burning pitch, but yeah, it smells like an ogrim's loincloth down here. And it's really that simple for that one. This is actually my favorite quest to do for Imperial City if I need to do a quest for um, quickly if I've, you know, forgotten or not done any event quest tickets. So you get given a Siege Master's Coffer and you get a Siege of Cyrodiil Merit which is use a number of these merits along with the Siege Master items that can be purchased from Telfar General Merchants to create various Siege Master room boxes. You may only own one Siege of Cyrodiil Merit per day and then you get a small well stitched satchel containing a handful of Telfar stones, a light Telfar satchel. I'm pretty sure this only contains about 200. Yeah. So I should have actually read what that was. But the merchants that you can go to are around here. There you go, the Telfar General Merchant. I was raised in a swamp, and even I refused to swim in these waters. Yep, you and me both. So you can use the Telfar for the imperial sewers and you can actually get some materials or you can actually get some style pages that's a lot of Telfar, I don't even have that in my bank maybe that should be a goal for the Midian Mayhem and then you've got some room boxes I think these are, oh this is for a Sifkin Augur Polymorph the Dreadguard Polymorph, Tormentor Polymorph, okay, oh these are the place where you buy the prisms as well so this was the original place and then if you see them floating around the guild traders it's because someone's gone and bought them from here, the Hajiko ones, and then they've gone and sold them on in the guild traders for gold. So this is how a lot of people make money as well. They come here, they do all the all the stabbings and collecting of Telfars and things and then they come here by the Hajiko and then they can go and sell it for gold if they don't need it. Oh yes, this is another way to buy those storage chests that you see in the crown store as well and also from the master rich um, person who you hand them into, he sells them with vouchers as well. So you have the option to buy them here for Telfar too. Once cultivated by Nibbanese alchemists, this rare and robust sweetener can elevate the quality of Cyrodiilic confections. I have no idea what's this for. Is this for the for the recipe? for the PvP recipe to increase your AP. Oh, these are these are all right. The Sigil of Imperial Retreats teleports you to Alliance Base in the Imperial City sewers. Only works in the Imperial City or the sewers. Effect is broken by movement. If effect is broken, the stone is not consumed. This carefully etched talisman processes the power to transport its users back to their Alliance Base. Wow, yeah, I am not a PvP player. There's so much stuff that I do not know. When you have a 50% AVA skill booster recipe scroll in your inventory, you use to transfer that recipe scroll into a 100% AVA skill booster recipe scroll. This read this citation from legendary chef Gratia Aquitius 
details her improvements on the mystery. Oh my goodness, on the mysterious Colonian Wartort. Okay, so I have that Colonian Wartort recipe, but I've already consumed it. But this gives me what's AVA? Alliance versus Alliance. Is it? If you're a PvP player reading this, do let me do let me know in the comments below. But yes, lots of uh, goodies we can get with these stuff. Lots of different vendors. Oh, you can get armor over here. Yes. Imperial physique set. Arm cops. Well, it's still imperial physique. Oh, Galarian breaches. Harbinger. Vice cannons. So you can get yourself a whole set of items. Lockbox merchant. The creatures here are relentless. Draw no attention unless you must. Oh my goodness me. Look at all this Baron Thirst Coffer. Isn't that a monster set? Oh yes, you can get patrolling horror monster sets now. I've got a couple of them, so you're able to pick them up from here as well. My goodness me, I need to spend more time just collecting Telvar stones. Black Rose equipment, Galarian's Refend, Glorgalock, the Destroyer, Immolator Char, Imperial City Mystery Coffer, Mystery Box, Mystery Box, what's inside the Mystery Box? Imperial Physique. So some of these are from the Fender that I've just shown you as well. Lady Malagda. Meritorious Service. Nanatak. Phoenix. Powerful Assault. Reactive Armor. Shield Breaker. Thews of Harbinger. Feist Cannon of Fennon. And Soul the Ever Wakeful. That saved you wow. the Skald King in Windhelm. Hail, hero. This is all according to plan. A terrible, poorly constructed plan. Praise the tribunal. <laughs> That's kind of my line. This is all according to plan. A terrible but poorly constructed plan. That is literally what happens in my head all the time. This is how this video has gone off on a tangent. I was meant to stop at the quest and then I just remembered about these merchant skills. Oh, wow. Look at this. So again, it's the same thing. PvP items here necklaces and rings nope you don't give me anything nor do you nope right that's it I'm gonna show you one last little neat trick so you don't have to teleport to anybody to get out wherever you were last you can exit through here You exit through this regular sewer and then it will take you back to the last place you were in Tamriel. So for me this was in Deshan. Even though I teleported from my house it doesn't take you back there which is a bit of a shame really. Usually I edit this part out, but you know what? This is this is my house. I'm trying to make it into my guild house, and I'm doing very poorly. I've been transferring everything into the Doom's Char one. But look, I finally got Miri up. Oh, there's the monkey. Oh, I bought him several years ago. And the pet rock. <laughs> it's such a... St oh, there's this as well. This is the... um. Oh, I didn't buy it. So this is one of the mounts from the Jester's Festival and I think I've just realized I didn't buy one of the new ones. I'm gutted. 
Let's turn on this music box. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you made it this far, give yourselves a pat on the back. I, like I mentioned, this quest, the Dows in the Fires of Industry, is my favourite one to do. It can be a really quick and easy one, so if you're stuck in a rut, needing a quest to get yourself event tickets, and you got no characters with quests readily available to hand in, then I do recommend this one. I'm sure as you do all of these quests, you'll come across one that you prefer for your own, even if it's a longer one. Maybe you prefer to take your time and sneak past every single enemy, or like me, you just watched, I just went and charged in. I was very lucky actually, I encountered nobody. Like I said, I get on here quite early if I need to do a PvP related stuff quest wise. So let me know in the comments down below which one is your favourite Imperial City District quest. And also what do you think of the Midyear Mayhem? Oh, I've just realised, I've been calling it Midyear Mayhem because that's what it was called. They keep changing as the years go on, don't they, with some of the things. It's now called White Strakes Mayhem, isn't it? Because it comes up twice a year. It's supposed to be in January's and the June-July time. Whereas when it first started, it was always just around July-August, once a year. For Midyear Mayhem, because that's what made sense. But it's good that you can get these events for PvP. I know I main as a PvE. But there are ways around it. Like I said, prepare yourselves for this quest, for this Midian Mayhem if you're a PvE player like me. Just get out there, grab a couple of characters, get them all done with the six quests, but don't hand them in until the event is live. And that's it for me for this video. If you have any ideas about what I can do to spruce up my place a bit with all the cakes, let me know too. I'm stuck for ideas. I actually have a couple of ideas in the works for housing projects. Whether or not I get round to them is another thing because I keep coming up with ideas of things to do and then I just either change my mind or I can't be bothered. I'm like a very lazy person behind the scenes. Like as minimal stuff as I can do, I will just, yeah. It's not a good look, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's me. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will wrap it up now. And uh, take care of yourselves, everybody, and have fun. Bye!